Hello and welcome my fellow Homo sapien friends and today we are doing a review video for Her Majesty's Spiffing. Now this game is a point and click adventure video game developed and published by Billy Goat Entertainment Limited. It was released worldwide for the Xbox One, PS4 and Windows on December 7th 2016. So it's been out a while this game has, probably a lot of people played it and, or knew about it anyway. But if you haven't it's really worth checking out. The game is set after the UK's withdrawal from the European Union and the Queen's use of the royal prerogative to take control over the country herself and the subsequent setup of a space organisation called Spiffing. So that's why it's called that. The plot follows F Captain Frank Lee English, so he's Frank Lee English, and his Welsh subordinate Alan Jones. Although the game was very short, it was absolutely hilarious and a real fun to play. The best thing about this game is the fourth wall break and the fact that they poke fun of absolutely everyone, even you as the player. I mean, the game even pokes fun at the writers and the fact that they've named one of the characters Alid Jones, which he says is actually one of the most stereotypical Welsh names ever. So it's just lazy writing. Um, there's a lot of like small little hints like that as well, like... Even doing simple tasks like sitting on a sofa, if every time is different, every dialogue is different. It was just really fun. Even the end credits was actually really funny as well. I mean, I don't normally stick around to end game credits, but I figured as the game was pretty funny itself, I thought it would be pretty funny on the credits as well. So all in all, the game probably took me about an hour and a half to complete. Now, it's like I said, it was a very short game and I kind of cheated, I'm not going to lie. I looked on YouTube for some of the puzzles because they were absolutely driving me insane. So there's just an indication of like either I'm really bad at puzzle games or they were actually really difficult. So I want to see how many people can complete the game without doing what I did and see how long it actually takes them. Like if you have played this before, please let me know in the comment section how long it took you to complete the game and if you actually cheated and looked on YouTube for help. The game feels very British as well and there's pokes fun at some of the like older technology especially with the Windows PC right there and the floppy disk drive. Well I'm past. Who's for tea? Mild green washing up liquid. So these are just some of the things you can do in Her Majesty's Spiffing. I'm obviously going to leave the video just here because obviously it was only a small game so I only did a small review on it but absolutely worth every penny that I paid for it. However, I only paid £3, I think it was, because it was on offer on Steam. Um, I'm not sure what the full price of it is, but I don't know if it would be worth paying that, just because it is a very small game. But it's very fun, very funny. So if you did enjoy this video, please leave the video a like and subscribe if you want to see more from me. Now, on this channel, I will be doing news, reviews, and everything gaming. So just as a clear indication as of what you can expect from me in the future, especially with my videos. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please take care of yourself and others, and bye bye for now. Look for you over there. Why does it always rain in England?